are you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and baby nala <laughs> she just hanging in there so today's video is going to be all about her three month update now because i haven't done any updates at all i feel like i just have to run it all down to you but technically this is you guys officially meeting her so this is baby Nala. <laughs> Her whole name is Nala Amina Isaac and she is three months in about a week. So this video is gonna be all about her three month update. I just wanted to come to you guys to officially introduce her and to kind of tell you the things that are going on currently. So um, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about baby girl, just keep on watching. Let's just go ahead and let me give you a closer look. Look at my little chunky leg. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> So this is, video might be a little bit long like the rest of my videos because, <coughs> hold on. <laughs> Her height is somewhere around the 23 inches mark. Last month we went to go see her, uh, maybe about, it was a little bit over two weeks ago, we went to go see the doctor and they said she was about 22 inches, so she might be an inch longer, I don't know, but uh, she's around that 22, 23 inch mark. She also weighs roughly about maybe 12 pounds, close to 13, who knows. When I went to her two month appointment, which was closer to three months, honestly, uh, she was 11 pounds, 11 ounces. So she could have gained like a pound in the last like two weeks. So yeah, that is that. As far as size, diapers, uh, she's in size one diapers and she drinks about three to four ounces of milk. I would say closer to the three ounce mark, maybe even three and a half. If I make her a four ounce bottle, most of the time she only um, drinks maybe a half over the three ounce mark. This little girl still doesn't quite hold her head up properly. She still kind of struggles with that. I try to do tummy time with her, but she is uninterested. She hates it, honestly. She does not like to be on her stomach. If you look at her stomach, her stomach is a little chunky chunk. She's a little pokey poke. <laughs> but she does not like tummy time at all, but she does like to sit up. Now that she has discovered she has a little bit more head control than she actually thinks she does. <laughs> but she really likes watching TV a lot. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, honestly, if it's like morning time, if you recently see my vlog that I posted yesterday, I believe it'll be yesterday about time this one come up. She likes to watch this YouTube cartoon story time channel. It's called T-Series Kids Hut. She likes that because it's pretty vibrant and I think she likes the sound that the narrator uh, speaks in. I think she likes that tone. So if she's getting a little bit fussy, I would throw on that and she pretty much watches it. But honestly, almost everything she likes watching, I watch that Tyler Perry show for better for worse all the time on my phone i'm honestly late on watching it and she watches it like <laughs> like she knows what's going on she with all three of us will be in the bed and she'll be looking at it so yeah she really has a good uh eye control and following people and that type of thing so yeah that is what's going on with that Another thing that's going on with her is that she's not a very big cooer, but she's starting to coo. But um, the day she turned three months, she had her first laugh. Are you going to talk to me? Uh, you going to talk to me? Ay. Hey. So that made me feel very good because I was getting a little bit nervous that she wouldn't know or she'll look, be a little bit behind on that. But yeah, she had her first laugh, but she's in the last couple days actually started to coo and starting to talk. That is a big stretch for her because honestly, she is a very, very chill baby. Like she doesn't like 
do a lot. She just chill. Like, and that's a, how I was when I was a kid. From a baby all the way to maybe about 14 years old, I was really, really quiet. I didn't say much. I didn't like cry. Like I was not that type baby. And it seems like she took from my understanding both of us in a lot of that way because she is very chill unless she is hungry. Now when she hungry, she will yell at you. Like she, she's starting to cry, but more so yell than anything. The next thing is that she really does like to sit up like this. So now when I feed her with a bottle or whatnot, um, she likes to be like this or super close as if I'm going to breastfeed her. If you try to like lay her down or um, put her like against your leg and have you like have the baby in front of you, she won't eat. So child she's getting a little bit bougie in that way but she likes to sit up a lot now which is a good thing i'm cool with that because she honestly sleeps a lot <laughs> she sleeps a lot and every time i have guests over there like she's sleeping again and it's pretty ridiculous it's not like i'm just having her lay down all the time it's like even when i try to entertain her she only is up maybe about 20 minutes at a time but I think honestly in the next week or so she's probably going to get a lot better with that but she sleeps a lot. Another thing that has happened in this three months is that she had clogged tear duct. Um, I think she got that honestly in the last, uh, towards the end of her two months but she still has clogged tear duct. so when she wakes up from each nap she has like these eye boogers I guess you can say that's in her eyelashes and it's kind of disgusting almost but I guess at this point um, nothing is really disgusting another thing that has happened is that this girl is sleeping starting to sleep through the night sometimes she wakes up around that four no around that five o'clock in the morning times for her um, morning feeding but most of the time I haven't been using my nighttime bottles until 8 o'clock in the morning so I think what I'm gonna start doing is stop making nighttime bottles and only feed her right before she goes to bed and then uh, hopefully she still wakes up around that 8 o'clock time there's been times she woke up at 9 o'clock but yeah she is starting to sleep through the night and thank God so I'm starting to get more rest um, the only bad part about that, when she used to have her, her early morning feedings, I used to use that as my alarm clock to go pump. And now, because she doesn't wake up until about 8 o'clock, I don't wake up until about 8 o'clock, and I pretty much skip that pump session, which isn't good. I just gotta have to find a way to get past that, or maybe when my husband gets up for work, have him wake me up to remind me to the pump and then get up and pump. Another thing that is going on with this little girl is that she is starting to cry randomly. Like when she wants something, she starts to cry and she shows tears when she does it so that she gets what she wants. So that is another sign of her getting a little spoiled. But when she wants something, like she cries. Most of the time it's because she's hungry. Maybe sometimes it's that she wanna switch positions, but most of the time it's cause she's hungry, but she screams actually kind of weird. It's like, eh, eh, eh. That's the sound she makes. Hey, that's the sound you make. <laughs> I think in a, pretty soon she should be holding her head up though. Let's hope within the next month because look at that. One big thing that is going on with her in the three month session is that we're having a big problem in the breastfeeding role. I would say in the last week it's starting to get better because of some of the things I started to do but breastfeeding has been a struggle. Honestly, I had done away with trying to actually put her to the boobs in the last month or so because I determined with myself that I wanted to exclusively pump because the breastfeeding thing was just a lot. But what ended up happening was that my milk supply got extremely, extremely low. Like I was pumping like maybe one to two ounces and that is unacceptable because you know, I was formerly feeding two as well as breastfeeding to try to get a stash in my freezer so I would use the formula as a filler, I guess you could say, until I get a good amount of breast milk. 
But what was happening was she was going through all these growth spurts and eating up all my stash and the formula that I was buying. So that wasn't helping, but in that time frame, I was doing that and not attaching her to the boob. My milk supply got low, and when I tried to put her back to the boob around this three month mark, she acted like she didn't know what it was. She wasn't feeling it. She wanted the bottle because, as we know, bottles are faster, and she was starting to get nipple confusion. And right now, it is something we're still battling, but it's getting better. Like, I'm at least able to get her to breastfeed in the last week at least one to two sessions a day maybe she'll latch maybe about a couple minutes at a time but any stimulation with the suction that a baby has to your nipple is good enough i honestly have been using like supplement i think it's called pink stork true milk i have been using that and making her latch at least once a day and trying to pump every two to three hours and it has changed my milk tremendously oh for sure every single day i have been having oatmeal and gatorade so in the last week i have seen a tremendous difference since i've been doing that and i've been pumping about five to eight ounces every session as long as i can get her to latch at least one or two times a day that's good enough for me i don't have to feed her personally on my boob i'm okay with not doing that my biggest thing is I want to make sure she has actual breast milk and we get to the point to where we're not doing the whole formula thing so hopefully that goes out the window so just pray for me y'all uh one thing is that um she has pretty curly hair but she has a lot of straight pieces if you noticed <laughs> let me scoot up let me scoot up um baby girl has curly hair but in the back is weird because the back is pretty straight. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. Can you tell? Child. I don't know if you can tell because I ain't brush it. <laughs> I just sometimes just put some oil in it, brush it, but sometimes it don't be doing no different. So I think her hair is very similar to mine in that fact because I could brush my hair and it does what it wants. So half the time my hair does what it wants. When she was a baby, I used to brush it straight and it stays straight, but now it's like, you do you. And I just let it do it half the time because it's just going to do what it wants at the end of the day anyway. Hold on, I had to go make her a bottle. But while we're talking about making a bottle, she had ended up getting the hiccups. And one thing good about getting rid of hiccups, they have to drink something. Well, they don't have to, but drinking milk and stuff helps. But I want to show you the nipple really quickly that is helping me right now with the whole breastfeeding shenanigans is this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you see how it's shaped like a nipple? Because uh, they pretty much eat the same way they eat on your boob. And let me show you guys. This is the Lexino like uh, nipple, and it's a slow falling nipple. This helps me because she kind of believes it's my nipple sometimes, especially when she's like waking up. I try to breastfeed in that time because when I was just using the regular um, Dr. Brown nipples, they're smaller and they're not like an actual breast nipple. So what was happening is she wouldn't open her mouth as much when she got used to those nipples. So a lot of times I had to like force her bottom jaw down to try to open her mouth wider. And that was kind of like annoying too. So she would just get used to not really having to open her mouth. But with this, she has to open her mouth a lot wider. I know if I really wanted to breastfeed, this would help me out in a lot of ways. While she is eating, put her in frame a little bit. <laughs> See how she's going towards my boob now? Cause she almost think it's like the same. Before, in the beginning of the month, she wasn't doing that. She put a wet mark right there by my boob. So it's a really good sign. So she still has her Mongolian spots. I spoke to her doctor last month and she said that she probably could have her Mongolian spots um, until she's around four or five years old. They do fade away, but um, it's usually over a long period of time. She has them a lot worse on her back in her butt area but I mean they don't really bother me and I don't think they would bother her as she gets older so if she, they never go away it's, it's not 
it's not life or death. Um, she currently wears size, technically she still fits into a lot of her newborn, but I like it better when she um, is in zero to three months. I guess she's technically still kind of small. I don't really know because when she was born, she was so tiny. Like this is huge to me right now, but uh, when a lot of people see her in person, they say she is small, so I guess she's small. But uh, she comfortably fits in most zero to three, but not all zero to three. But she still fits in a lot of her newborns, if not all of them. Um, maybe about three outfits of newborn she can't fit no more but yeah she is as of today is showing signs of teething she chews on her fists a lot now but we used to call it her ice cream because she used to just lick her fist like she would just sit there and lick it stare at it lick it lick it but now she's like trying to fit it in her mouth so I don't know if she uh, could be on her way to teething, but she is doing it all the time now. And now she's starting to like spit a lot and she wasn't really doing that before. So I don't know if it's just a change in general or if it's signs of teething. Oh, this spray get on my nerves. But she's definitely doing something. Currently, she is sleeping in her crib. That's something that we started doing about the middle of her two months. She was at first only sleeping only in the crib, but I noticed that she wasn't sleeping as long. So what I did was put the doctor tie in her crib and laid her in that. Now she is really used to it. I want to get to the point to where I want her to nap in her crib, but because of me not allowing myself to sleep when she's sleeping, um, she is a little bit too far away from me. When I got other stuff to do, and we don't have a baby monitor, I do want to look into getting a baby monitor. I just don't want to commit to buying one because they're so expensive, but I might just have to because I want her to get used to her crib, but she's overall a pretty good sleeper, so a lot of times she naps in her lounger uh, when I really got to do stuff, so I'll put her on the couch in the deep corner of my sectional and kind of tuck her away and she can sleep there for a couple of hours so yeah but she is definitely a sleeper <laughs> don't want to wake her but she got to burp this is always the worst part when you want your baby to sleep and you know burping them might wake them up but you are conflicted to whether you want them to stay or not <laughs> so sometimes i'd be one i'd be like man i'm not gonna burp her today but you almost have to. I don't want to. She is kind of starting to say hi. So I have this thing to where I always say to her. And I'm like, hi. Well, now I'm starting to do it now. I say hi. And she's like, hi. Hi. It's so crazy because it's like signs of talking. It's like my baby is getting older. One day she's gonna really say it and it's gonna really stun me. But she said it um, really good today and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, what am I gonna do it myself? Her last little update is that she really, really, really could care less about toys. <laughs> I put like a ball in front of her if it's black and white she would follow it but she really could care less about like toys in general she hasn't showed signs of being interested now she had grabbed my phone the other day now when i'm on my phone and when we're watching tv she tries to like touch the screen or whatnot and she kind of does this but she'll like go towards my screen and she'll kind of like change it and stuff but um she doesn't really like in such a like constant like try to smack at it but she will like kind of put her hand around it and that type thing so i guess that her way of trying to learn how to grab things but she hasn't really been interested enough to do something to what she's constantly like like you you can tell when a baby's like want to do something they just can't and they just be like <sighs> Um, she don't she just kind of stares until she's bored of it and then just be on her way But I just bought this little teepee the other days with like the dangling toys and all that So I'm hoping that 
eventually she be into it so yeah but I hope that this video made a lot of sense. I don't know if it sounds like rambling. Honestly, in my mind, it sounds like a bunch of rambling. But I wanted you guys just to overall just meet this little girl. I think she actually asleep right now. But if you guys have questions or things you want to know a little bit more about her, uh, you can just comment down below. But if you haven't already, just make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.